Well, hello, all you Conan Exile fans out there. It's a Grinning Gamester back finally with my Let's Play as Big Bad John. And yeah, Big Bad John has learned a very important secret, and that is the way to escape these exile lands. Now, he himself does not want to leave these lands, but he wants to make sure no one else does. So he is going to be on a mission today to get what he needs to get the keystone. Yeah, <laughs> so he can't do this alone. He needs, he needs Delincia. Yeah, so how is everyone? How y'all doing? Hi, Dale. Hi, Tresses. Hi, Seam Ripper, Asvagard, Jay. Oh, uh, Aaliyah. How are you? Hi, Cadence. <laughs> And Seam Ripper and Sebastian, how are you? How is everyone in UK, Jamie? Yeah, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Gosh, I got to scroll up. Yeah, I do. On Pegasus Gamer, yes, and Ken Blue Dragon. Good to see you all here, guys. Yeah, uh, we shall see what happens with Big Bad John and Delicia. He is on a mission. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens. I'm doing fine. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's have a chat about that, guys. Why I have missed so many live streams. I am not a happy camper about that. Trust me. Uh, but you know how it is. Things don't go according to Hoyle. I don't care how well you plan. Uh, and it didn't. Yes. Um, just a tad stressful. Yep. Yep. All of that. But it's done. It's behind me now. So... No more interruptions with, with that business. And uh, yeah, it's not easy having uh, all that going on in your home. So yeah, terribly glad to have that over with. So uh, anyway. Oh, you're training the apprentices? Awesome. That's not easy to do either. <laughs> so Big Bad John, yeah, he wants to take Delincio with him. Uh, but as usual, he thinks he knows where she is, as always, and she does a fair amount of this, so it's pretty easy for him to find her, and he hasn't seen her around lately, and yes, there she is, and this time she is sulking, yeah. She won't even look at him. Oh, my. <laughs> Delincia. And he explains to her what he has found and discovered, but he needs a strong arm by his side. Will she join him in getting all the artifacts to get the keystone? And, of course, she is more than happy to join him. It's about time, Big Bad John. I would love to accompany you. Uh, yeah, Dale, it is. It's Murphy's Law. So, uh, yeah, she's going to come along. So off they go. And he knows his first stop is the Witch's Palace. So they are going to go to the map room. But first of all, Big Bad John wants to take the Tears of Gula, which give, will give her... Uh, follower damage of plus 12%. So he's going to take that. He's got plenty of weapons. He has a dancer on him for the uh, arena. We've got extra potion for her. We've got plenty of potions for uh, himself. He's got things to repair his torch with. He tried to think of everything. Let's hope he has. And guys, uh, much to my dismay, as you can see, this is a little choppy. Uh, the city is not going to be able to get much bigger um, because it's getting pretty, pretty um, stuttery. Yeah, so I'm not sure I can do much more with it, as you can see it is. Uh, things take a long time to render in, and it's, uh, yeah. Hey, bad dad! How are ya? You come to see this? Escapade. Let's 
So we need to find the jungle. That's the volcano. Um, that is the upper. Uh, it's this one that we want right here. So let's go ahead and teleport. <laughs> Bad dad and his evil bear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty big bad John. Yeah. <laughs> Caught in the ladies' bathhouse. I had to look back to see what was what he was naughty about. <laughs> all right, so we got all our settings correct here. We do. It just seems though that Panther should have aggroed on me a little quicker than he did. Don't worry, Delencia. I've got him. Whoop. All right, now. Come on, pony. Turn around. Yeah, the turning radius on these horses is not that great. Evil fleas? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that fun, guys? All right, and down we go. Now I'm fine until I get to the bottom here and then I do have a bit of a problem finding the, the palace, but we'll see if we can manage to get right to it this time. It might be right ahead of us here, but I'm not sure. Alright, alright. Monkeys are going to cause a bit of trouble here. Atta girl, doesn't see I Get right in there. Oh, look at them all. Oh, monkeys galore. Alright, you go, girl. Taste yeah, taste death. You the wrong fight. Yeah, we have Lady Death with us here. Now, I do believe I go left here, maybe. Uh, no, that's the Black Garden. No, we don't do that. <laughs> Ava does not have fleas. Who said you had fleas? <laughs> Nomads bathe daily. Well, they should. I mean, there, there's a lot of water and, and swimming pools around and waterfalls. and Yeah. Oh, is that right, Seam Ripper? When you were playing uh, the event on the server, you didn't look down so you didn't see them, but you saw them in the video. <laughs> it's probably a good thing they were everywhere. <laughs> Ow! And that's the fun part, guys. I didn't know about the fleas either. <laughs> Big bad, bad dad. <laughs> Whoa, all right, Delincia. Oh, that's too funny. You couldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did look down and you couldn't see them. Yeah, they were pretty small. Oh, we did have one come down. I thought I heard one. Get out of here, you. All right, Delencia. This is the Witch Queen, Delencia. Please be on your guard and be careful of the green lights. And there it is. And there she sits on her throne. Big Bad John stares at her. We've come for you, Witch Queen.
Your guards do not stand a chance against Lincia and I. You are my enemy, Wicked Queen. Dagon will be useless against us. Well, your eons are over, Queen. Careful of the green light, the Lindsay up. Yeah. a girl. There he goes. Watch out, Delincia. She's going to come at us. Hot and heavy. Where are you, witch queen? Well, you did a poor job. Get down here. There you are. Don't you do that to my Delincia. No, you don't. Get her, Delincia. Out of girl, Delincia. Get her. Ah, good job. Good job, Delincia. Yes. We will grab these just in case. I know I have them. We're going to do it again just so you can see where they are. You just go to this throne and you get all the Lemurian armor and weapons. Hey, Brina. How are ya? All right, from here, we are going to go to We're going to go to get the Hearts of the Sands. And so we must go here and speak to the crazy man. And for the sake of saving all the travel guys, we are going to admin teleport to these places. Otherwise, uh, it would take forever. Here comes a cat. Watch him, Delincia. Whoa. Nice, nice. Wow, she took him right out quick. Oh, he's busy with the scorpion. All right, he saw us. He saw us. Yeah. Yeah, Asbagar. <laughs> Running around with da Dally is always fun. You take a stroll up the shore, minding your own business. Then you hear, die. And then you turn around and see what's going on. There's a pile of corpses. I know, isn't it fun? At a girl. Actually, oh, she is. She has the beak on her. 
this is the side, not the beak, but the size of, of fag. And that is kind of like the beak, but it has a health damage of 96. It doesn't have any armor pen, but it causes bleed. So and that's why we like that one. Oh, you nasty beast. Look at her. She's got that one dead already. <laughs> nice. Just a poke and out it goes. <laughs> Big Bad John needed a one-liner there. Going with Arnold. Consider that a divorce. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta get married first. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me, Asbagar. I've been using the heavy on it, and I shouldn't. He doesn't really have to worry with her anyway, does he? <laughs> Hold your blade, Delincia. This guy is crazy, and he doesn't need to die. We need something from him. Very valuable. This is Petruccio, the sandstorm maniac. A mad fool went wandering in a sandstorm. Eventually, a man happened along and said, You mad fool, what are you doing in this sandstorm? The mad fool replied, and Your turn to talk, fool. <laughs> Goodbye. I shall bring you what you need. I don't accept them to survive long. Yeah, well. Guess again. Uh, I do believe it, believe it is, Rena. I do believe it is. The predatory blade is like that. But I think they just made this axe of the lion a predatory weapon. I do not believe it was before. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Asvagar, but I, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it does do bleed damage. That's why I like it. All right, so from here, we go to Galaman's tomb, which we have not been to yet, and I do believe it's here. I'm not sure. But we will definitely uh, check it out. I might have a hard time finding it. Uh, yeah, because this is Sinner's Refuge. So I think it's actually down here further. Oh, down pony. Yeah, I might be going the wrong direction. It might be the other way. Alright, let's see where we are. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. It's, um... It's going... It's... Yeah. What was... Oh, jeez. We went... <laughs> we aggroed the big one. We aggroed the big one. We'll see if we can get by it without aggroing it. We already got a big one to do. Leave him alone, Delincia. Leave him alone. We got another one for you. I'm surprised I didn't fall off with that. All 
All right, so I, I thought it was right up here, but... Uh, it may be. Uh, maybe I have to go up one more. Yeah, I think I do. I think I have to go up one more time. Whoa! Oh, Delencia! Oh, Big Bad John! That's unforgivable. Look what you did. You ran her right over. Oh, you bad. Bad, bad. All right. Uh, I thought it was like right over here. But I think we're right back at Sinner's Refuge. Yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was a bonk. All right. Don't do it again. Oh, she put up her fist that time. She says, I'm done with you, mister. Oh, that's too funny. Put up your nukes. It's behind me. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> She'll just walk it off. She better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you run over them all the time. Yeah. It's hard not to when you're riding these horses. These horses are so hard to steer. Oh, I think we might have found it. Did we find it? Is there a ghost? Oh, I think we did. Yeah, there we go. All right, we found it. All right, Cochise, you're going to stay right there for now. We'll be right back. Galamon's tomb. Atta girl, you get them and I'll hold the torch for you. <laughs> Chivalrous man that I am. Atta girl. Yeah, taste death. Oh, it is one handed. I can take this. Oh, it's part of your three skull boss run. Oh, all right. Nice. Yeah, so you'd know exactly where it is. Oh, yeah, what a difference. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is a definitely a predatory blade. One smack and he gets them. There it is, Delencia. Watch out, watch out, the Lucia. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two smacks and she took them out. Oh my goodness. Oh. There it is, the jagged stone. Excellent. Now I forgot if you can go out this way or not. No, you cannot. Okay. All right, so from here, our next piece is up here at the upper staging area. So we want to go there. And then from there, we'll have to go to Buccaneers Bay.
Watch it. Now when I ever enter this swamp, I think of that event. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awful if we, we came across those worms in here every time? Oh. I'm going to give her the Hanuman's God on, and I got it with me too. I've got her one, I've got myself one. So when we do the sinkhole, uh, that will be it. What? You little stinker. Ow. Now, why am I carrying a torch in broad daylight? I don't know. Hi, Gary. How are you, Gary? It's good to see you here. I don't know if you got my message or not, Gary, but uh, Generation Zero was on sale with Steam for five bucks. So I got it. <laughs> yeah. I played it yesterday, and just as I suspected, yes, it is a shooter, but it is fun. Yeah, you, you can crouch and do a lot of stealth. There's a lot of places to hide when you're, when you're battling the machines. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite fun. And there's missions. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Ow! You stinker. Jeez, get blue drink. <laughs> well, first time Wolf joined you, you played Conan in old server we had. I was running past him and went to jump over some fish traps and sent him flying instead. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, Rena. <laughs> At least the worms didn't have fleas. I know. At least you can see the worms, right? All right, here we go in this nasty place. Now we know we all know that the uh, the passage has uh, the locust queen who has acidic puke, and I'm a little worried for Valencia. But if we can take it out, we have weapons that cause bleed because she is a soft, soft skin, soft fleshy thing. So those should be correct for her. girl. Thank you, Delincia. Now, I do believe, I do believe that nasty little creature is right over there somewhere. Oh, oh, here's a spider. Get the spider. God, take you. Oh, really? Medieval Dynasty is doing co-op? Oh, wow. That would be interesting. Gary. Yeah. Ow. You missed. Oh. John, just get him. Uh, oh, oh, cheats. Now, it's best to take out these guys as many as you can anyway beforehand so that you don't get overwhelmed when, the, when you're trying to fight the queen. So I always like to come in from this direction. 
Oh gosh, that sounds great, Gary. It's getting a co-op map and a female main character. Ooh. Yeah, I needed just something, um, you know, just fairly easy to play. You know, nothing complicated. And, you know, that's what I liked about Generation Zero. Plus, it plays a lot like um, Far Side or Far Cry. Far Cry, it is. Um, same kind of thing, you know, missions and, and that sort of thing. But the nice thing about it, there's no foul language. There's not tons and tons of foul language. And that really wears on my nerves with the game. Uh, I don't like it. And um, there's none of that. Uh, it is set in Sweden, which is interesting because I don't know anything about Sweden, but they, you know, they talk about all the towns and all that sort of thing. So, you know, it's, it's very interesting on top of everything else. And, uh, the, oh, there she is. There she is. There she is. You see her, Delencia? Beware of this one, Delencia. Beware of her. I'll try to keep her aggro. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, <laughs> what was it? Three smacks and she took her out? Wowza. And there's the broken scourge stone. So we have the broken scourge stone piece and we have the jagged. Now the only one left is the shattered, I believe it is, and that we get that at Buccaneers Bay. No Seamer Ripper. She she is carrying uh, the scythe of Thag. The beak is another one that ju looks just like this. And it causes bleed. Whoops. Get out your get out your axe there, John. Well, you know, that's what I saw about that too, Gary, is that they've done a lot with it um, by the looks. You know, they have some DLCs and it's not complicated. It's not long and complicated. And I'm so tired of games like um, Assassin's Creed that just went on and on and on and on. I mean, the map is absolutely huge and, you know, you just, you lose interest in it. Um, but I am, I'm kind of, I'm liking this a lot so far. Uh, right now I'm, I'm, I'm on the mission to, to get the companion. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about that, but I have to go to three different, um, bases Oh, right, Tresses, do you play that as well? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Uh, Gary recommended it for me. I was looking for a game to play that, you know, wasn't, you know, just something I could just have uh, different than Conan. Uh, guys, I have over almost a thousand videos out on Conan. You know, not all of them are strictly, I think there's a few that are not. Um. But yeah, <laughs> I've played Conan for a long time, a long time. And I just was looking for something a little different to do, you know, like once in a while, but nothing, you know, too involved. So it's perfect. Oh, you played the DLCs too? Yeah, I may get the DLCs. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I didn't really look at them in depth, so I don't know what's in them. Alright, so now we need to go to Buccaneers Bay.
And that is right here. We're going to go right here. Oh, I did have a, I did get one here. Nice. Now, there are quite a few jagged pieces around Buccaneers Bay. You do not have to go up to the captain to get it. Uh, last time I knew. Now, Funcom changes things, as everyone knows. Oh, gosh, was that gold? Oh, that was. We'll take that. Um, oh, they're at their add ons. The biggest is the Alpine one. Oh, as it adds an island. Oh, I did forget Cochise. Where did I leave Cochise? <laughs> We're going to leave Cochise wherever he was. Um, Well, let's go to followers and see if he went home. If he went home, we're going to leave him there. Um, let's take that off and that off. He's returning home. So we're just going to let him. I don't think I... Ow! You dog? You didn't do that to me. Yeah, thank you, Delincia. She's got my back always. <laughs> J.O., he went home. I don't think I had anything on him. I think I, yeah, I took all my potions with me. So I was just going to bring him just in case. I decided to run around, but. Ooh, he's got a shield. I'm having a hard time not picking up stuff. Because I usually pick up a lot of stuff. We're, we're going to try not to do that. Now. They have a problem with ag aggro in Buccaneer Bay, I think. Because that, why is that panther not aggroing? Or her, for that matter. Yeah, you think it's th thieves, huh? Your bet is thieves. Delincia, you impress me. <laughs> Jail. Big Bad John drags him out and then just leaves him. I know. It's pretty sad, isn't it? Ow! didn't even get the words all the way out. You got no chance <laughs> before she got him. <laughs> she backstabbed him and that was the end of that. All right. You are impressing me, my lady. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you be doing that to her. You will all die for that. Wake up, buddy. The end is near. <laughs> Ouch. Look at her. She, she's taken off up there. You be careful. Razor Gord's up here somewhere. Ooh, he's got some gold. We will take any money we find. For sure. Uh, is he here? I think he is. Oh, we are bad. We are bad. Oh, I guess he's up here. Any money in there? Nope. 
Uh, ouch. Ooh, that, that's Gal, Gal, Galo the Spearden. At a girl! <laughs> Alencia! Hey! We work so well together. You are amazing. Now, he should have it on him. Where is he? Yeah, there he does. He has it. Okay, the Shattered Scourge Stone piece. So now we have all three. Now we can go back to... Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Tootaloo. What? An archer here somewhere. Where are you, you little stink? All right. So now we need to go back to the crazy man. So let's just get right up there. All right. I have every confidence in the world that she's going to be able to take these out. So... Ow. I don't know about me, though. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, he's causing her some bleed. Oh, that's not good. How dare you? Here they come. Here they Ah! Oh! They shall not strike you again, Delincia. My girl. Put up your dukes. Drink! Drink! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I'm so pitiful. Oh. oh, that's another thing I like about uh, Generation Zero. <laughs> you don't have to worry about drinking or eating. You do, you do get over encumbered, uh, but that's nothing compared to, yeah, and eat. I think if I eat, it would have filled my water skin as well. I think I put that on there. Yeah, lasting peace. It does uh, cure your thirst too, somewhat. Yeah, Ken Blue Dragon, doesn't she? She's amazing, yeah. All right, Mr. Crazy Nan. Stay there, Delincia. I don't trust him. Eventually, a man happened along and said, There. You mad fool. What are you doing in this We got it. Storm? We now have. Whoops. Right here. And we have the Heart of the Sea and Scourge Stone. So let us leave this crazy person. And from here, we will go to the sinkhole. Hey, Booby, how are ya? Ah, oh, you're never late. Anytime's a good time. Yeah, they're they're over. Yep. They are over. Uh alright. We almost got lost here for a minute. Hey David, how are you? It's good to see you here. All right, let us go to the arena. And I do believe I have been there. Yes, I have. So we are going to go right outside here. Ah, oh, that's good, Booby. All right. This way, Delincia. And 
I have brought a dancer with me. Dance, my girl. We shall return. Hey, zombie cat. How are ya? Good to see you here. All right. Are you ready, ready my lady? Please be careful in here. Do not aggro the big snake if you can help it. There's plenty of cobras on the way in, so do be careful. And I think I will give this to you now. Although you probably should. How are you doing for, oh, you're doing really well for porridge. I will try to take care of the snakes. If you take care of the skellies and please stay close to this wall, Delincia, please stay with me. Thank you. Do not aggro the big one. Ow. doing that to me. <laughs> Jo <laughs> How am I gonna play and read stuff like that? <laughs> now we all know why Deli was mad at BBJ. He had a dancer in his pants. <laughs> oh gosh. That's good. That's really good. Ouch! Yeah, alrighty then. No. Ah, oh, you dog. There. I still get my little finger wants to do that combo. <laughs> the one, two, three heavy hit. <laughs> yeah, I have to catch myself. Uh, I'm going to take these. She loves to kick things. Yeah. Well, let's hope it does well with the dragon. That's all I got to say. Oh, I never noticed that chest there before. Did anybody else ever see that there? Am I the only one? Probably. Oh, that's okay, David. I'm glad you popped in. BBJ is Stuttering Man's favorite acronym, really? Look out, look out! Ah! Wow! Run, BBJ! Run! Get him, Delencia, get him! Delencia, you can do it, girl. Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, she's got him. She just didn't take him out just like that. You know, you guys, I gotta go. Oh, she almost has him. Look at her. Oh, <gasps> how dare you! You beast there you do not do that to her holy smokes all right what i do with my axe holy smokes he sent her flying
Oh, I know, Fubi. I can't either. I can't wait either. Uh, that's one of the best things they they could have done, um, because they are stale. They need they need help. Yeah. All right. So there is our next the star of the champion. Now next is the Kin Scourge. I think we might get these all done. I don't know. I think doing the admin travel is helping enormously. If I had to travel to all of these, we might not get it done. <laughs> J.O. <laughs> That's okay, because your thoughts are funny. <laughs> Bring it on. We're not afraid. <laughs> are you with me, girl? Yes, come along. Do not aggro that big snake. We need to go out and visit our dancer out here to get rid of our corruption. And guys, uh, this is the best way I know of to get rid of corruption when you've been in here. I don't know if I did this before, so we're just going to do it. The city as a place of blood sports and competition won't get one. Our kind of you hope they make the legendary key stackable, Seamurper? Yeah, that would be nice. Are as numerous as rats and the exceptionally strong artistic. There we go. Thank you, my lady. Now you continue to dance your little heart out because we don't need you anymore. All right. So, the Kin Scourge. Now he is quite a ways away. So he is up here. You are assigned to work. I think I'm going to go in. Um, I should not be bothered going across the bridge. We're going to try it. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> what do we do? All right. All right. Okay. Let's just go. Well, let's just go out here. I don't know where the heck I ended up, but we're right in a rock. All right. Let's get our bearings here. All right, here we are. Yeah, the hearts of the hero have a timer on them, though. So by the time you get them, you've got to be headed right to it. And it's quite a ways away. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Pegasus Gamer. You've got plenty of friends to help you out. Oh, thanks, zombie cat. Yeah, we're we're on a mission here. Big Fat John's going to clean up this. He's going to get the, the keystone. And I am wearing the redeemed armor, so I'm good. I should know that. But you know, they've changed so much. I don't trust anything anymore in this game. Yeah. And, you know, unlike a lot of other content creators, uh, I am not on all these changes. No. And nor do I ever intend to be, guys. I've made that decision. I was going to do another whole um, series of how-tos and guides. Oh, good job, my lady. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good, well said, Sea Ripper. She did, didn't she? She changed y'all well. Keep your eye on me. I'm hopeless. Now, Big Bad John does have a um, Hanuman's Gata as well. So I could put that on him. Oh, I've even got it in my little my little arsenal here. Oh. Nice. Alright. Come on, Delincia, let's go.
Um, just for funsies. Let's do it. <laughs> I want to see her do her stuff. Atta a girl. Ouch. Look at her. Look at her. Here she goes. <laughs> Curse you. Her still does a lot more damage than mine. <laughs> I can swing at him, but I don't do the damage she does. Watch her. She, if she connects, he's just dead. <laughs> wow. No gold, huh? All right. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, but from what was the last stream we had, did it, did I learn that, that now they have two kinds. It used to be just the silent legion and you used to be able to make flawless and blah, blah, blah. But the silent legion, the redeemed silent legion armor used to be the best. Well, now they have just redeemed. There's no silent in the name of the armor and it's actually the best armor. Oh, oh, John. There. Oh, yeah, I do have the follower damage. It's still working, by the way, on her. Let's check. Yeah, armor increased. Plus 50. Plus, she should have, um, no, she doesn't have one. Okay, all right. I did give her a uh, vitality. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Ouch. Ow. Man, they like to get me. You made the wrong fight. Yeah, you sure as heck did. You, you're messing with the wrong gal. Oh, really? She's close to berserker damage? Wow. Oh, really, Asvagar? Yeah, you have it on Ziggy all the time? Yeah. Well, smart move on your part. All right. Now, I'm going to switch back to Axe of the Lion, although it's not the best. Uh, it is one-handed, and I want to carry the torch. Uh, I do not like playing in the dark. I do not. Oh, and Gary, if you are still here on Generation Zero, uh, I cannot sprint with any guns or anything. If I'm carrying the bat, I can sprint. I am not over encumbered by any means. Um, the most I'm carrying is like 34 pounds and you're allowed 64. At least the way I understand it anyway. So I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I thought for a moment that maybe I had it stuck on some kind of an emote and it you know and that was preventing me from sprinting. But I'm sure it's something I'm doing wrong. So I thought I would ask. Oh alright, Ava, thank you so much for stopping by. Seam Ripper. Holy smokes, Asvagar, really? Wow. All right, here we go. Money, money, no money. And that's another thing I can't wait for, is for them to improve what's in these caches. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Chop and he's gone. Ouch. Nice. Is that a, no, it's not silver. Come on, come on. Give me some silver in here. I'm supposed to be filling my coffer and you can't give me any silver? Jeez Louise, guys. You almost think I, I knew my way around here. Yeah, and there, I do believe that's the kin scourge and the witch queen's daughter. Yeah. And I think it's her grave that you see at the... Now this is going to be locked because we do need to get the ancient key. So we need to go this way. Hey, Sesame! <laughs> Hi, Sesame! If it isn't my favorite nomad, how are ya? How's the nomad world going? <laughs> All right, here they come. Here they come. God take you. Well, yeah, had a girl. Thanks. <laughs> I was gonna say you can pick that up anytime now. Ah, girl. All right, now we have the ancient key. We can just buzz right out of here. And this dank, smelly old thing. Now, I wish I knew I, I, I've been into where that little side room is with the spiders in it. I've been in there once. But do you think I can remember how to get in there? No, I can't. Yeah, J.O., that's, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it either. Uh, if you give her a mace, a one-handed mace, she's much better. All right, Valencia, we're going to give you back your, whoops, your scythe here. All right. Come with me and please be careful. This guy's no joke. Atta girl, atta girl. Careful, careful. I don't think we can make this guy bleed by the looks. Oh! Boy, that blade's got a big swing on it. Woohoo! No! I can only get in there a couple of times before he swings that thing! <laughs> I think we're we're stun locking him from doing his little corruption thing. Atta right, girl, I'll let you do take the honors, Delincia. Go ahead. Go ahead, my lady. Take him down. Thank you. Good job.
All right, where is my, whoops. And there it is. Now we have the tiers of the two races. We have the Star of the Champion, we have the Witch Queen's Mask, and we have the uh, Heart of the Sands Scourge Stone. So we have four, we have two more to get. We need to go to the Borrow King. Oh, it is time to drink. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty pitiful. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, we get, oh, there is another round of stairs. All right. Let me out, let me out. No more bark on good old Kin Scourge, I know. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know why they thought of that in the first place, that that would be a good thing to put. I have to say, it does make it easy for us for the events to put good things. Ow! Oh, you missed me. Ow! Ow, 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you! Now we're going to come out on the other side, hopefully. Oh, boy, he's hot on my tail, mister. There. Oh, 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 hey. Oh. I was hitting her. Sorry, Delincia. I think I should have gone back the other way. I did. I took a wrong turn and elbow koiki. Uh-oh. Yeah, this one. And then this way. Uh, there we go. I do believe. Yes, we are. Whoop. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> oh, is that, a, that is a chest right there. Oh, it does have some silver in it. Well, we will take that. Uh, uh oh, did I go the right? Yeah, I did. Ah, uh, yeah. BG8613. I'm playing on a PC with a Xbox controller. Yeah, I've been gaming for so long, so many years, uh, since the 1980s steadily. I did start on Atari, but um, yeah, I'm so used to a controller. Yeah. 
My dad's been trying to get me to use a keyboard and mouse for years, and I just can't do it. I can't do it. Ow! That a girl. All right, our next objective is the burrows, which is right here. Oh, I do. I have. Ooh, I don't think I have any. Um. Oh, I do. I do have some blood on me. Okay. Uh, I, boy, I can't remember if it's regular blood or. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you just have to have blood. Alright. Add a girl. Add a girl. Yeah, you know my favorite console was the GameCube. I love that. And there was a uh, Final Fantasy game, The Crystal Chronicles, that you could play with other players if you used the Game Boy. I don't know if any of you ever did that, but I played with my grandchildren with the Game Boys. Yeah. It was a blast. It's the only game that I know uh, that used the Game Boy, at least that I had anyway, uh, with the GameCube. And, oh my gosh, it was fun. Did you, Sesame? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, in the 1980s, I was, what, in my... What did that made me? Uh, 30s? Early 30s? Yeah, the N64. Yeah, BG8630. Yeah, that, that was another great system. Of course, that's the one that... Um, brought us uh, Zelda riding a horse. Yeah. Um, in the 3D. Now guys, in order to get in here, you do have to have blood on you. Otherwise you can't open this. So when you come to do the Borrow King, make sure that you have blood on you. Uh, I have the PlayStation 2 because my grandson played, he introduced me to Final Fantasy 12. Absolutely watched. I loved watching him play that game. And I loved it so much I actually bought the system and the game myself and played. Because I said, oh, it's no fun watching him play. Don't fist fight, lady. We know, we know you're a beastie, but you know, you don't have to endanger yourself that way. Thank you. All right. Let's chop this bad boy up. And we have the diadem of the giant king. Yes. Yeah, the any, yeah, I never did own a uh, Super Nintendo. No, those were the years when my kids were uh, in uh, middle school and high school. That took a lot of money to, you know, raise your kids when they're that age. And that's where all the money and time went. I spent a lot of time with them. We did a lot of camping. I had horses, you know, would take them to uh, Jinkanas and things like that. So uh, that came first. So during those years, I didn't, I didn't have... The Super Nintendo. I just couldn't spend the money on it. That might have been when they were in younger years too, because I'm not sure which when that came out. That I don't. I think they came out before the N64. <laughs> Aaliyah, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have been. <laughs> I have been playing longer. Oh, that's funny. Well, thank you, Sassy. I like to think I was, but I wasn't. I wasn't perfect by any means. Yeah, like we all do. You know, I made my share of mistakes like everybody else. You know, it, it, you can't. You can't do it all right all the time. All right, so now we have the Diadem of the Giant King. We have the Heart of the Sands. We have the Witch Queen mask. 
we have the star of the champion and we have the tears of the two races. The only thing that is left is the trapezohedron and that my friends is in the volcano. And yeah, that's you ready for this. Valencia, the volcano is treacherous. You must be careful. Whoa, but first, <laughs> but first, ow, ow, ow. Die. Get out of here. Get out of here. There. Excellent job. Do we have any gold? <laughs> no, we don't. <sighs> now for the most annoying dungeon. <laughs> yes, I am, Sesame. Big Bad John has heard of the Keystone and he wants it. He wants it so no one else can have it. He will be true ruler with this ability. To leave these lands. Hey, All right, where shall we enter? Um, I think I think we want to go to the dragon mouth. Yeah, I think we do. You like her squeak when she gets hit? Yeah, she does squeak, doesn't she? <laughs> we might as well drink while we're here, right? Yeah, Leah, that's very true. You know, um, we all go through stages in our life. And if you have your kids when you're very young, like I did, you grow up with them. So that doesn't make you the best mom because you're just a kid yourself. So you don't figure that out until you're much older, by the way. So, and when you're in your 20s, you're in your party stage and all that, you know, that good stuff and social and all that stuff. So that's probably, um, you know, the later 20s is probably a good time. Uh, I still couldn't say today. I don't know. What do I know? Uh, if I had it to do it all over again, I'd do it the same because my kids were uh, all grown by the time I was 42. Uh, I think I had grandkids when I was 42. So uh, I got to play. And, you know, that was beyond work. Uh, I didn't have any other responsibilities than other than just work. So I kind of enjoyed that. That was that was fun. So, yeah, I don't think I would change anything. Would I recommend it? Uh, probably not. Uh, that's a really young age to get married and start a family and, and all that. You don't know anything. You really don't. You're just a child yourself. But, you know, that's the way it was back in those days. And like I said, I have no regrets whatsoever. Sorry. I know that's your kinsman, Valencia. I'm sorry. We're going to we're going to make it out of here. Oh, really, Sass? That's, that's why you became an IT tech? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of get into it. I got interested in computers because my dad was into anything new and mechanical. He was fascinated by the whole computer thing. So he um, had a Mac and, you know, had the floppy disk and all of that. And you could do very simple programs back then with the Mac. And of course he did. And it was, it was fascinating to watch him. We couldn't touch it, of course. And I don't blame him because it was very expensive back then. And uh, yeah, that's all he needed us to do is be fooling around with it and break something, you know. But um, what career was I in? Oh, I've done a few things. Um, my most, my major career uh, 
was in the drapery workroom for uh, interior designers. Yeah. I managed one. I designed one. Uh, yeah. If anybody, any designer thought up any kind of a, a home, what they called soft treatments, which meant anything made of fabric. Uh, yeah. I, I would develop the pattern for it and... That's what I did. Then I, uh, for a few years, I was a truck driver, drove an 18 wheeler cross country, uh, coast to coast. Did that for like, I don't know, five years, five years or so. Um, then, uh, in my later years, I became a professional artist. So I sold paintings and all that sort of thing. And then I was a dispatcher for a trucking company for, I don't know, about a year and a half. I didn't like that job much at all. I didn't, I didn't care for that job at all. Yeah. And let's see what else. <laughs> I know, Sesame. Everybody says that to me, and that's true. What was I thinking? Well, I think it was had a lot to do with empty nest syndrome. And I want to see the country. And I couldn't afford to do it. I mean, I've never been a wealthy person, so I couldn't afford to do that. Uh see the country. I wanted to. So I figured, well, there you go. We'll just become a, cuck, a truck driver and, and uh, see the whole country. And I did. And then now I'm a YouTube creator. <laughs> so I've done a few things. All right. Are we going the right way? Oh, yeah, we are. All right. Yeah, Asbgar, yeah. Well, oh, I was also, I did teach art lessons too. Um, once I retired, I did do that for the community. I, I gave art lessons for free. And what else did I, oh, I did have horses my whole life. I had them when I was young and then I, I got them when my girls were, were uh, young so that they could experience that. And uh, I showed horses for a while, I showed English and Western. Nothing big, guys. No big circuits or anything like that. It was just uh, local small circuits, but uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I do love my horses, yes. But I um, have no desire to do it now because I'm extremely afraid of falling and breaking something at my age. That wouldn't be a good thing, so <laughs> I don't have any desire. Enjoyed it while I did it. Oh, J.O., you did three years up and down the East Coast. Yeah, so you were more regional, yeah. All right, here we go. We are here. That gave us a little time to chit-chat. Dragon Mouth. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, we better put the light on. <laughs> I'm never sure exactly where this winds around, so, and I don't want to be, I came barreling in here and almost went off the edge there one time. It's like, whoa, I forgot you had to make a sharp right. And you're a winemaker, Asbagar? No kidding. Well, you know, some people are, you know, very good and they're very content and happy with making a career out of one profession. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, and then there's people like us that are just plain old restless. Uh, I think I have to. Yeah. All right. We got to go this way. We'll go down the well of Skellos. Uh, very hot. Oh, but we're just going to get very hot. That's all. We're not going to get dangerously hot. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, Sesame, it is. <laughs> it's a restless soul. 
No, I've always thought it would have been nice if I, I had been content with, with one. And I guess I stayed with... Ooh. Uh, no, we're not going to pick it up. If I'd stayed with the, you know, the seamstress job. Uh, you know, and in between all that time, I've had... I have had businesses of my own. But I was not a good business person. Um... Yeah, that was not my forte. I don't have, I don't have the makeup to make a good business owner. Um, yeah. Oh, you crippled me, you bugger. Cut it out, leave me alone. Bonsai! All right. I don't have any uh, drinks with me. So this this redeemed is not gonna protect me from the heat. Well, oh, that's not right. It seems to be doing okay right now. I'm just very hot. I'm not extremely hot. Yeah, yeah, we know. Hey, get over here. Ah, oh, you gotta... Yeah, make that little snake bleed. These guys are a little tougher in here. Just a little tougher. Alright, come here, you. No. Oh, you stinker. You got me anyway. There. Gotcha. Nope. <laughs> I shouldn't have got over there. I knew it wasn't the right way. Hey, Blood Wolf. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. And welcome, welcome. Get him. Get him, Delincia. Oh! Don't let him get away with that, my girl. Don't fall over the edge. Come on. Die, she says. Die. That's it. Make him come up here. There he comes. Now we can get him. Oh, okay, Asbagar. Well, that's what I thought. You know, you have you have to be standing right in it. Oh, Aaliyah. Oh, you. Oh, God bless you. Working in kidney garden. Now, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I would not make a good nurse. I would not make a good school teacher. I have no patience. Yeah. Um, had a wonderful time with my own kids and my grandkids, but um, no, I would have never been able to handle, especially in this day and age. Um, nope. So, kudos to you is what I say. Hey. Oh, you sundered me. You dog. John. Oh, he staggered me. Oh! I didn't know he did that. He like this. Did you see that? That was kind of like a... Uh... Thank you, my lady. Wow. Oh! 
Nah. Oh! How dare you! <laughs> you saw me riding a horse in Conan Exiles? <laughs> you don't want to see me driving 20 plus tons of metal? <laughs> I know. Oh, but what a trip, guys, driving those big trucks. Honestly, you talk about uh, the feel of power. Holy smokes. Yeah. I've, I've driven a 9-speed, a 10-speed, and an 18-speed. And I'll tell you what. Yeah. I think our max, they might be uh, less now or it might be more. I don't know. But I think our limit was like um, just under 84,000 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it is dark in there. That's why I like to carry a single-handed weapon in here because of that. Because it is dark. Hello. Hello. Ah, down with ya. Oh! He sundered me again. Dang, he's nasty. Nasty boy. Oh, Sesame, yeah, yeah, you operated for, yeah, yep. Yeah. I had to learn how to how to operate forklifts uh, when I first started driving, uh, learning the ropes. I worked for a um, grocer company, and so I drove like the wee hours of the morning and delivered groceries to the grocery stores. And you had to unload your own trailer with a forklift. So I had to learn how to do that. Oh, awesome, J.O. That's a good way to learn. Hey, the con. Hi, how are ya? Good to have you here. Yeah, isn't it fun to look back on the things you've done in your life, guys? You know, I always said, when I get to the point where I'm in my rocking chair, I want to have things that, to remember that I did. Now, I'm trying to remember... Come over here, you. Yeah, the volcano is a uh, is a pretty uh, confusing place. There, at a girl. No. Nope. All right, she's gonna go after him. All right, all right. Oh, look at him, ping an arrow right at her. Well, I'm sorry, but she's got the best armor there is on, so. Buddy, you didn't hurt her. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Remember to drink. Oh, look at this. Whoa, look at all these guys. Oh, yeah, J.O. Isn't that something when you're driving and you're driving the wee hours of the morning? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I better take a potion here. Atta a girl. Atta a girl. She's got my back. That woman's always got my back. Uh, yeah, I think 
think there's a way over here. Yeah, this is the part that uh, will confuse me. It's coming through here. I know you can leap across there, but I don't like to. I think it's... Yeah, here it is. And then just keep right on running so your thrall will come with you. Ouch. Yeah. You don't want them to get stuck in the lava. So if you pause, they might. Although, they're not supposed to be... They used to die in the lava, but I don't think they do anymore. Look at that thing. Fall us right over here. You just want to die, don't you? Uh, no, I have not. I have not, uh, the con. I have not tried that yet. But Sesame has a whole series. He's doing that. And his videos are awesome. You should watch his gameplay. Uh, I do have it on my Discord, if you belong to that. Um, or just look up his channel, uh, Sesame Street Fighter. Just punch that into YouTube and it'll take you right to his channel. And uh, yeah, you can watch his gameplay there. He's awesome. Oh my gosh, we got another one following us still? Die! Now I sound like her. Die! Now, I think there's another place to jump here. Yes, there is. And again, just keep going so your thrall follows you. You coming? Atta girl. Yes, yeah, Sesame's doing the full playthrough. It's awesome. He's just gonna stand there and wait for us to take him out. Ah, that girl, Delincia. Jeez, what a karate chop. Now, this guy over here, those two big doors are gonna open. And this guy here is the one that has the key. So you need to take this guy out. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. That's Big Bad John's war cry. Don't you make her cry. There. And open sesame. Right, sesame? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try and sneak around this way. To avoid the majority of them, we're going to come this way. We're still going to run into a couple of them. We can't avoid them entirely, much as you'd like to. Ouch. Now, I would think those things would cause bleed, not sunder. You know, you are a pain in the neck. <laughs> oh, he knocked me right off of that, a girl. Get him. He's all yours, my lady. Oh, look at her go to town with him with that. Get him. One more chop. <gasps> oh, there. That's what you get. That's what you get. You don't mess with her, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. The con. That is... Uh, you know, I thought I recognized your, your moniker there, but... um, Yeah. It's been a while since I've been on Sipta, for sure. Because uh, I did... Whoops. I did Sipta, and then I did um, Savage Wilds. Ooh, I'm out of potions? Ooh. <gasps> you stabbed her in the back, you dog! That's dirty play. Yeah, you're gonna die for that. I think we've aggroed every one of them.
There, at a girl. She have my back or what? Look at you. Oh. Look at her. She says you don't hit John like that. Hey, Game Labs. How are ya? Yes! Sesame, it does. Sesame Rakan, right? <laughs> I don't know. I still, if I've been saying that right, I have no clue. Nothing? Nothing. I mean, it's not bad stuff, but it's not stuff I can use. All right, here we go. Oh, Dungeon and Dragons? Back in the 90s? Yeah. Sess? Emran Khan. Sess Emran Khan. I don't know, Sesame. You're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> Um, did I get turned around or what? I don't, do I remember this? Oh, we got to go through there. Oh, okay. we go. Emmy? Emmy? So a sesame. Emrakan. See, we pronounce I as, as like an ice. So... I, I tend to want to do that, so it's a little it's a little difficult. Am I going backwards? All right, I think I got turned around here, or maybe not. You be pinging arrows at her. Ah, I'll get him right in the back. Ah, oh, advertising your server. Oh, look at this! Look at this! <gasps> Big bad John, you have a treasure out of this. How nice! I did get turned around. I thought so. I didn't think it looked right, guys. <laughs> yeah, look at all the trail of corpses. There we go. How did I get turned around like that? That is beyond me, but I did. We wanted to go this way. Um, I think we did. Um... Alright. Down this way. There we go. Asbagar, yeah, we all know my GPS. Yeah, we do. I haven't been in here in a while. Yeah. 
Uh, come on, come on, Lindsay. Run to Lindsay. Come on. That a girl. We got a snake following us here. Don't worry, milady. I took care of him. Holy crab, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you here. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, you got the right weapon on you, I think you do. Alright, I can almost take these out by myself anyway. Yeah, come on, big guy, bring them on, bring them on. Here to come. Yeah. There we go. I gotta say, where are you? I'm glad they made this made this one relatively easy here. Ow. Here comes more. Ah. I had a girl to see how these are pretty easy actually. Come on. There they come. Look at her. She's just pooping them out like no tomorrow. Ah! Hello! Yeah, they're like little ghosts. So they like, you know, they're extremely easy. One hit takes them out. All right. Nice. Are you done? Show yourself, you beast. You're not even there. Oh, no. Don't tell me we're going to get cheated. Ah, uh, we're going to get cheated. Fun calm. Come on, man. Ah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was something in there. Yeah, elixir might take that. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, this is a little frustrating. Yeah, we got cheated out of the boss here. Um... I need to go out go out a bit and come back really and he'll respawn boy i hope so beyond the spawn area all right we'll see and the degenerate comes back <laughs> all right we will we'll see if this is far enough where we have to jump across here it should be Also drink, yes, drink. Drink Big Bad John. Oh, he is back. Yay, thanks guys. I gotta fight him all over again. Uh, it's a bug, Dale. It happens. Uh, it's one they don't seem to want to fix either. But you can see him in the throne right now. I'll go up to him here. 
See, you can see him in there right now. See, and he's got his little staff here and he's, and he's bringing all these little minions out. Whoop, sorry, sorry, my lady. <laughs> to do with anything, she's just doing it. It's an underlying code issue, yeah. Well, I wish they'd fix it. I mean, I, I certainly don't understand it the way you would as an IT tech, but <laughs> Sesame, but. I'm just a gamer that wants it to run right. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, those, you know, the, the invisible pets are only on the consoles. I know that from having uh, the servers for, I have a server for the Xbox, PlayStation, and the PC. And the consoles is the only place you have the invisible animals. Don't you go anywhere, you. Come out and fight me like a man, you snake. There you go, out of boy. There we go. There, and we have our Trapezahendron. And I'm sliding all over the place. <laughs> yes. The day when crocs swim in the game and the spiders climb after you is when fun come actually no absolutely not if they start putting things in the water i am so done yeah the game is tough enough without having that <laughs> sesame yeah that's right jo they're not plus he said there was something uh to do with when the game changed hands or Funcom changed hands or they didn't get some kind of uh, I don't know if it was an I team permission or I don't know what it was but he said that's the reason so I'm like oh, okay you know because I wouldn't understand what they're talking about so all right we have all the pieces Um, Big Bad John is going to go back to the Chaos Mouth at some point and, and, uh, get the Keystone. Ooh, but for now, ooh, where did we, well, I'm going to say, where did we pop out? Holy smokes. Delincia. You were amazing, amazing in battle. Thank you. Come with me, Delencia.
Behold this city I have built, the Lincia, but not without your help and guidance. And you have recruited pe peoples from all factions to come here and trade and prosper. It has become lonely here, and I find myself looking for your company always. Delincia, you are a beautiful, strong, and courageous woman. You have been by my side since the beginning of this city. Now that the city is complete, I find my thoughts turning to you. But who do I fool? My thoughts have always been of you. You are in my thoughts every waking moment. You are in my dreams. Each time I take you to battle, my gut wrenches with the thought of losing you. I have come to love you beyond measure, Delincia. I wish you have to have you by my side always. Would you join me in ruling the city as my queen? Rise, John, for you should never have to kneel before me. My love grew for you from the moment you rescued me from the traitors. Fate made it so, and I am grateful. You are strong and courageous, good to your people, and have built a city of wonder. They may call you Big Bad John, but they speak of your ambition, your strength, and your courage, your willingness to risk your life for its survival. I long to be by your side every waking moment, and when I cannot, I go to my sitting rock and wait. I would be honored to be your queen to rule the city by your side, John. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, John and Delencia will join in holy matrimony and rule the city together for the rest of their days. So there you have it, guys. John and Delencia. Yeah, yeah, you can't make them. That's that's the sad part. You can't make them really mooch. If he tried to hug her, I don't know if he could. Can you hug her? <laughs> um, I don't think I remember where it is even. I think it's in conversation. Yes, yes, yes. Can you hug her? Oh, you can. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Yeah, Rena, he didn't. He did not want her. No. So for those of you who have been following this, uh, there will be a wedding at the five o'clock stream. <laughs> if you all want to see the wedding uh, firsthand, yes, absolutely. Make sure you're there for that. And um, there are mods for that. Yes, but uh, I have done this whole city, guys, everything here with no mods the only mod that i have is the um armor and weapon stats mod and all that does is show you uh whether your uh, weapons and armors are designed for strength and agility that's it yeah yeah you do sesame you do hug people on hawks rise all the time <laughs> Prowling, <laughs> about time he asked. Yeah, wouldn't you think? <laughs> I am, <laughs> I am Sesame, big time. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is this has been such such a good time, guys. And um, I'm really out of time here. We're at one o'clock. So before the wedding takes place, uh, I think he will bring Delincey around to see the city. I have worked on it a little bit during the week. And as you can see, there's a lot of stutter in this, guys. Um, 
I don't know about you, but it, it bothers me to watch it stutter like that. It's very, very choppy. So I can't do any more with the city, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> J.O. <laughs> it's always the one you fight with all the time, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You love the armor she has on? Yeah, this was part of uh, the bazaar. Yeah, this is the, it's not going to show you here, but it's the Aesir set. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, it's a pretty armor. And Big Bad John had that made for her because that is where she comes from. So, yeah. Yeah, Sesame, I knew there was going to come a point. I knew it. Um, it was just a matter of where, just where's the line going to be. And you know what? I got a lot in here, guys, a lot in here before it started doing this. So uh, I'm very, very fortunate in that respect. I got all this in. I mean, because we have all this over here. There's the prison. You know, there's those whole grounds down there with all those characters. And yeah, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. So, well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. And uh, yeah, spending your time with me. I sure do appreciate it. Um, Big Bad John and Delincia have finally, finally recognized each other and their love for each other. Yahoo. We all knew it was there, didn't we? Yeah, that's the one, Asphagar. Aesir Raider. Yep, that's it. So, uh, yeah, guys. And uh, if you liked, don't forget to give me that big old like. And if you'd like to see more and you have not yet subscribed, just do that and hit that little bell and you will be notified when I post my next video. So again, I will be doing a live stream at five o'clock and this will wrap up this series of Big Bad John with John's and Delincia's wedding plus the big naming of the city. Yeah, so yeah, if you can guys join me for that, but not to worry. Uh, it will be uh, up on YouTube for you to see later because I know some of you, that's really, really late for you. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Again, uh, thank you so, so much for joining me. And until next time, GG out.